finally, McDougal, Henry, and Henrietta, the family, are reunited again. And they're jumping around with glee, you know, so, so happy to be alive. And then there's, there's Perry Como just standing there, crying. Henrietta goes up to him and asks, Perry Como, what's, what's the matter? And he's, he's, he becomes furious because that, that was his home inside the whale, and he's furious because they made him leave his home, and now he can't go back. The three of them try to consolidate Perry Como um, for a few minutes, you know, let him know that everything's going to be all right. But he stands there in silence, not a word. So they realize that there's nothing they can do, and they have to continue their journey to find the copper eggshell so they can complete the time machine. As they walk away, they suddenly hear the sound of charging behind them. Henry screams, watch out! And Mc McDougal turns around and he, and he sees Perry coming right at him, and he quickly ducks and Perry lunges and goes right over his head. So then out of nowhere, McDougal whips out a chain and he, he swings it around his head and then he... He throws it, he throws it at Perry Como and wraps it around his neck and then he yanks on him and Perry Como goes flying into the air and then McDougal yanks on the chain again and slams him down to the ground. Oh, but this isn't enough. This isn't enough to stop Perry Como. Perry Como rips off his clothes and out pouring out of his nipples is this venomous milk. <laughs> The milk sprays into Henry and Henrietta's and McDougal's eyes, and they, they pass out. Later, they wake up in a daze, finding themselves in a very unfamiliar place. All around them are, are stuffed animals. And all the stuffed animals are whales, all different shapes and colors and types of whales. They soon realize that they've been chained to the floor. Perry Como walks in and says to them, if I can't be with my whale, I guess you'll have to do. And with him is a tray with twelve dozen eggs. Just twelve dozen ordinary eggs. But wait, what is that? One of those eggs doesn't look so ordinary. Could, could it be? It is. It's the copper egg! McDougal suddenly realizes what he has to do. He begins to sing. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. And and Perry Como starts starts to go into a daze. And he falls back onto the floor and starts weeping like a child. Henry and Henrietta quickly run over to Perry Como, but they're not fast enough. Perry Como snacks out of his trance and swallows the egg hole. It then becomes very clear what the three of them have to do. McDougal pulls out a knife and lunges at Perry Como, and he stabs him, and he stabs him, and he stabs him, and he stabs him. He cuts him open. All up! He cut him all up! While Henry and Hed Henrietta stand there, laughing. <laughs> oh, Perry Como, you fool! <laughs> and finally, and finally, McDougal sees it. He sees the bloody copper eggshell. He snatches it and the three of them start their journey on home. Now remember, they live on top of the highest mountain in the world. This is a very steep mountain. At one point, McDougal slips and knocks Henry and Henry out off their feet, and they, they're sliding, they're sliding down the steep cliffs, and then they come to the edge of the cliff, and they're barely hanging on, and McDougal grabs their hands, but remember, McDougal's a very old man. He doesn't have the strength to pull up both of them, and he has to make a choice. So he drops Henrietta, because he never really liked her that much. He, she talked a lot. Like, a, a lot. Like, she, she never shut up. And he pulled up Henry. And then they walked back up to their, their little house on the top of the mountain, finished the time machine, you know, did some time travel, and they lived happily ever after.